Welcome once again to another Chess.com podcast. Now, today's podcast is going to be the last of the uh, puzzles for a while. It's white to move and to mate in two. Now, as you can see, um, white's got to restrict the black's movement. At the moment, uh, the black king can come to either b2, b3, and uh, if any of the white pieces were to move, then the other squares would be freed up. For example, if the uh, queen came to g2 to lay a check, then the king could either go to b3 or to t3. Now, if the king went to b3, then we would have a checkmate in 2, with queen a2 checkmate. But if the king went to d3, then uh, suddenly the king's got lots of flight squares and the queen in there will struggle to uh, bring the black king in there'll be no mating too so an immediate check there on g2 is the answer instead we need to look at how to restrict these flight squares obviously moves such as rook a3 are no good because the uh, pawn on b3 or b4 simply take on a3 so we're going to have to use that queen and the answer is queen to e6. Now, there's nothing the black king can do, and this isn't a difficult puzzle, I don't think, to solve. Uh, the black king's only got one square. Oh, he's got two squares, actually, and uh, one of them's a very elegant finish, so I'll save that to the end. Um, but first we'll look at the pawn moves. There's only one pawn move, which is b3. After b3, queen e2 is checkmate. And after king to b2, then we have queen to a2 checkmate, the same checkmate as we saw before with the queen coming to uh, g2 and then the king uh, diving across to b3. And then finally the king can come to d3. And can you see the mate in one here? I'll give you uh, a few seconds. The mate in one here is simply for white castle long. A very elegant mate there. Always good to uh, mate with a castling manoeuvre. I hope you've enjoyed this uh, chess.com podcast. Next week we're going to start a new series on something completely different. Bye for now.